Mission liftoff. NASA describes it as a historic moment that could pave the way for a new era of space exploration. Vehicle is pitching down right. At Kennedy Space Center in Florida, billionaire Elon Musk's company SpaceX successfully launched an unmanned test flight bound for the International Space Station. What, to, what today really represents is a new era in spaceflight, an, an era where we are looking forward to being one customer as an agency and as a country. We're looking forward to being one customer of many customers in a, in a robust commercial marketplace in low Earth orbit so that we can drive down cost and increase access in ways that uh, historically have not been possible. The Crew Dragon capsule atop the Falcon 9 rocket is the first space shuttle intended for commercial use. The only passenger on this Demo-1 mission is a dummy named Ripley, carrying with him 400 pounds of supplies for the space station. It's expected to arrive on Sunday. And if all goes well, the next mission could put two astronauts in space as early as this July. NASA awarded contracts to SpaceX and Boeing to develop cheaper methods of going to space since retiring its shuttles in 2011, thus ending its reliance on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, which costs more than $80 million a seat. What it means for the space program is it's really opening up much more regular access to the space station, uh, redundancy. Right now we're relying on just one system, the Russian Soyuz system. Uh, we also have Boeing Starliner vehicle coming later this year. So, um, so we really will see a lot more capability in terms of our ability to launch humans into space. SpaceX and Boeing own and operate the spacecrafts and will be leasing them out to NASA and other clients. Once Dragon is in, in regular operation, I think we will, we will um, seek uh, commercial customers, and, uh, of which the NASA administrator and, and NASA in general has been very supportive of, of, that, of that idea. So, um, but we've been very focused on just making sure that the, the vehicle worked um, and maximizing safety and reliability. Elon Musk's ambitions go far beyond shuttling astronauts. He says it won't be long before the Dragon starts taking commercial customers to space. Hamid Al-Bardisi, Al Jazeera.